Hello again! Today's topic comes to us from our good friend, Mr. Karlovsky. Hi, Jackson. How are you? I'm great. Thanks, Mr. K. Jackson, the space dog! That's me! Do you know what two numbers have a product of 18 and a sum of 11? Let's think about that for a few seconds. Did you get it? The numbers are 9 and 2. That is because 9 times 2 is 18 and 9 plus 2 is 11. If you can answer a question like that, then you are ready to factor quadratic trinomials. You may remember expanding two binomials by using the FOIL method or maybe even the BOX method. Well, factoring a quadratic trinomial is the inverse operation of that process. Factoring means breaking something down into smaller pieces called factors. For example, 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3. First, let's look at a quadratic in standard form. AX squared plus BX plus C. But remember, today's factoring pattern only works when A equals 1. So, if we want to factor a quadratic that looks like this, we see that our A value is 1, our B value is 5, and our C value is 4. We need to find two numbers that have a product of 4 and a sum of 5. To help us out, let's take a look at the product factors of our C value. In this case, 4. We can see that all these pair numbers multiply together to make 4. But which one also adds together to make 5? Only the pair of 1 and 4 will make a product of 4 and a sum of 5. So, we will now use those two numbers to create our two binomials, giving us x plus 1 times x plus 4. Remember, you can check your answers by multiplying those binomials and seeing if you get the original quadratic back. Carl! Carl! Could you do that later? Sorry, Jackson. If we want to factor a quadratic that looks like this, we see that our A value is 1, our B value is 3, and our C value is negative 4. Now we have a negative C value to deal with. We need to find two numbers that have a product of negative 4 and a sum of 3. Let's look at our product factors of negative 4. We see that all these pair numbers do multiply together to make negative 4, but which one adds together to make 3? Only the pair of negative 1 and 4 will make a product of negative 4 and a sum of 3. So we will now use those two numbers to create our two binomials, giving us x minus 1 times x plus 4. Thanks again for watching! See you next time on... Jackson, the Space Dog! That's me! Carl! Carl! Maybe you could get a separate room to your drums? I'll help you pay for a studio to rent.